was squeezed. So I would say that their hold on Congress is extremely strong. There's an associated nonprofit group linked to APAC, the American Israel Education Fund, which has sent hundreds of members of Congress uh, to Israel to learn about their issues and to lobby them. In fact, it's the second most visited country due to this subsidy provided uh, by APAC's affiliate. Uh, so I would say their hold is very tight, uh, and it's not just uh, overt partisans like uh, Lieberman and some of the others who are constantly making speeches uh, about this issue. Before we have to go, let's talk for a moment about the Steve Rosen, Keith Weissman case, which comes back into court in April. This is, uh, to most people who've seen it, a blatant case of APAC's involvement in stealing U.S. secrets. The Espionage Act comes into play. How is this developing? And once again, will those closely associated with APAC be let off the hook? Well, this is a very high-stakes trial, and basically what we're talking about is if Rosen and Weissman, uh, along with their Department of Defense and, and press uh, collaborators had gone forward, we might very well have American sons and daughters fighting a ground war in Iran. This is all about Iran, uh, but when you look at the maneuvers in the court, we've seen almost two years of very savvy legal maneuvering trying to get this thrown out of court on numerous pretexts. And uh, what we see is that the press is very much in favor of seeing this go away. The Wall Street Journal had a major editorial about uh, how new Attorney General Mukasey's first job should be throwing this out of court. We've seen the Washington Post and others saying that this is about free speech and that these lobbyists are the equivalent of reporters who should not be allowed uh, uh, or denied access to information or any information they can find. And the judge himself has set extremely high standards, although the act that they're being prosecuted under states that uh, they should be shown uh, to have either uh, advantaged uh, a foreign country or harmed U.S. interests, he's insisting that it be shown that these uh, actions taken by Rosen and Weissman uh, actually harmed the United States. So it's extremely, the case, uh, if it follows any historic pattern, we will not see this ever get to court, certainly not April 29. The Bush administration has too much to lose. The mainstream press has too much to lose. Congress has too much to lose. And, of course, APAC. Each successive presidency, starting perhaps back with the Kennedy administration, has shown more and more favoritism towards Israel. Is there any way in the future of American politics for this to be reversed? I think uh, if we were to begin to see... Uh, that this blatant lack of law enforcement, that the enforcement of basic laws such as FARA, the Espionage Act, the Logan Act, basic election laws, if uh, American people across every uh, district of the U.S. attorneys began saying, we want our justice system uh, to prosecute violations of these laws, uh, these laws matter. These laws uh, matter in terms of emptying the Treasury, sending Americans to war. Uh, we need you to prosecute and hold people accountable for FARA, Logan, and election laws. I think we could see a change. It's not going to come from politicians, though. Uh, as we've seen, the infrastructure for manipulating and scaring them uh, has been built since the 1950s. And it's not going away absent legal action. Grant Smith will have to leave it there for today. And this is an amazing book, Foreign Agents, Grant Smith. Thank you so much for joining us in the International News Net. Thank you, Lenny. This is the real news the networks won't tell you. Broadcast television in more than 25 million homes and on the web. Get involved.
Call us at 888-905-2835 or visit our website at www.innworldreport.net or email us at innworldreport at gmail.com.